Montana. A whole lot of big mountains all around. Starting to get back into the forested area. There's a sign back there a little bit ago that said, look out for bighorn sheep. starting to disappear ahead of me. Still got all that though. It's beautiful up there. And there it is. My first glimpse of Flathead Lake. Just came over the rise and there it is. There's even a sailboat out there. Probably the town of Lakeview or something like that. Yep. That's it. That's, that's beautiful. It's just the western end of the lake. Paulson is over that way or down that way. And I'm about to go on to 93, which is the last leg. I got out of the car because that's Wild Horse Island over there and then there's another island down here in front of it. It's kind of small but Wild Horse is huge and this lake is just massive. Some sailboats out there. There's another island over there in the distance. Over there. Yeah, so this is gonna be quite the adventure. This is a huge lake. Biggest lake this side of the Mississippi in the lower 48. Welcome to Flathead. That would be the Dayton Marina down there. Drop in there and have a look. It's like the Dayton shipyards. This is where they have their dry storage. Lots of sailboats up here on the hill. I thought I'd buzz through here and see what I could see. And it feels like old town, old school. I'll come by by way of the water next time. Next time I see this, it'll be from the water. That would be Wild Horse Island. Gorgeous up here. See these giant hay bales everywhere. Just passing to the west of Wild Horse Island. Wild Horse is the biggest island on the lake. Okay, well, I'm uh, parked here and after talking with Jim, this is where I'm gonna set up. Dayton. A place called Dayton. He's had this place for, he said, going on 40 years. And then he sold the marina. I'll be setting up here and putting in in kind of a sketchy little ramp, but the ramp and the little trip down to it is going to be the challenge.
All right, now we're fully rigged and ready to go. I got just down, it's 1400. A lot of smoke out here. But this is a little bit disappointing here because there's not a lot of an amenities. And uh, there's not a lot of wind. But right now it's blowing pretty good. And we'll just see over the next few days what it's like out here. So, about to head out. Going away from the dock. Wild Horse Bay. One sailboat nearby. And nobody else. Although another sailboat just came in. Very quiet here. There were quite a few people and they've all left. It's just a bay. Quiet, pretty calm, a lot of smoke. They just came in. And I am just gonna take it easy here for a bit. Sitting here, I got time. It's clear to see from up here the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. Yeah, so I'm spending the day doing a little writing, catching up on book, and I've been invaded by a whole lot of people. 
but this is a pretty prime spot. People like it here and I can see why. I'm feeling a lot better today after having a lot of rest and uh, getting some things done. Got the generator going and it's charging up my batteries and it's keeping my computer from dying. This is my little office in here. I've got plenty of stores and uh, provisions and had a good breakfast. So things are going okay. Feel better today. so much smoke. This is a huge island. Oh. High on the wind here. Back up. Yeah. Making my way up there. there. I might have to motor. Wind's getting pretty sparse. Alright, I'm making my way behind my way up behind them. Up wind, I got a nice little breeze here. It's coming through. In just an hour and 15 minutes, I've made it to here. Well, I feel like I'm doing pretty good here. I haven't had to get on the motor at all. Very pretty place. Wow, look at that house over there. Now having come out beyond Cedar and Shelter Island, coming out around the point, and now I can see northward, and it is so huge that you cannot see the other end, and you cannot see the mountains on the other end because of the smoke. I'm heading for Lakeview because there are restaurants and a grocery store there, and that's where I got my fuel and everything. I got four knots of wind. I'm only going three knots now because I've left the tiller, but my new MDF is working. MFD, multifunction display. That one right there. I'm pretty happy with it. A beautiful shoreline.
smoky. Screecher out, got 13 knots of wind. I was doing 15 knots there for a bit coming out of Lakeview. Lakeside, Lakeview, I haven't decided which it's supposed to be called. But I just rounded the point just north of Lakeview. And now I got the wind dead on my stern. So I'm just gonna kind of tack right on out, straight out there. Downwind sailing. Most wind I've seen on the lake yet. Come all the way up to North End. Summers is dead ahead. Well, catastrophe. I made it up to Summers and there was nothing for me up there. No place to, no moorage, no place to tie off. Really, really shallow, shallow among a lot of rocks and really windy up there blowing towards the shore so i put sail up and started heading back towards lakeview which is behind me because i lost my jib halyard jib came down so now the jib is wrapped up 
on the bow. And I've got the screecher up, hauled in tight. The worst thing is, my motor's dead. So I'm out in the middle of Flathead Lake and I'm having to sail back to where I put in so Jim can help me. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get back there because it looks pretty darn calm over there. I'm just gonna take what I can get and just keep moving that way. Oh boy, this is, this is scary right now. Uh, I've gotta get that motor running. And then I gotta find a way to get my jib hired. It means uh, somebody's gonna have to help me. I gotta get a bosun's chair to go up there and get it and bring it back down and retie it. I guess my knot slipped out. Uh, okay. Well, it looks awfully calm over there. I don't know how I'm gonna get, get through there tonight. Hopefully it'll shift sometime tonight. I'm pretty, pretty frustrated, but uh, we'll make it work somehow. Hallelujah, I fixed the motor. It was the kill switch. The kill switch doesn't have a clip on it, and so I had to put a little piece of rope on it to pull it out so that it would allow the motor to engage. Well, thank God, <clears throat> I, I still don't have a jib, so I'm heading back to Dayton. I called Jim and he said that they have a bosun's chair. So I'll get that fixed and I'll be back in and business. Now I've got the generator going out there on the wing net, charging my instruments and my batteries. The motor should be charging, but it doesn't seem to be doing a very good job. I got the autopilot on, all my instruments are running, all my power up is happening. I can get back now and throw the hook and relax. So, flathead, I think it's beer 30, way past. It's like 7.20, so yeah. It's really smoky out here. You know, I can't see the other end of the lake at all. It looks like you're just going into abyss. Look at that. The sun is shining <laughs> through the smoke. And I'm just happy that the motor's running because that was really freaking me out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's an adventure, but I'm just glad I got that motor running. That, uh, okay. Now it's just a long haul back to the to town. Probably be dark before I get there, but the great thing is now I can just go toss the hook and motor away from there too, so. Every, I'm safe, everything's fine. I don't have to worry anymore. It will be fun putting a new halyard in or stringing the old one. I think my knot came loose, which is bad. Never came loose before, but oh well. All right. Isn't that pretty? Well, kind of. Smoky days on Flathead Lake.
it's here, very loose. I made it back safe. The motor was working. I got it to work. I'm deeply disappointed, but I'm not gonna break my neck trying to fix this. I have to drop the mast to fish that, and that means putting it on the trailer. And if I'm gonna go that far, I might as well go. 